What's up everybody and welcome back to my lovely hardcore series. It is Monday, it's a new day for hardcore and if you have astute eyes you've realized that we have connected textures again which means yes we have Optifine installed and uh, we are still on 1.62 and uh, if you do not follow my channel closely, you've uh, you missed my little tutorial video on um, how to install Optifine and um, and and Forge and mods and everything. And 162, uh, I think my headset's a little loud, not the actual sounds of Minecraft. I ran by these guys and they're like, hum, hum. little Squidwards making Squidward noises. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to put a link to it uh, on the screen. No, you know, no, I'll just put it in the description. We'll leave the screen to Minecraft and Minecraft only. And um, it is very easy. Uh, well, I shouldn't say very easy because very easy would probably just be like a one-click installer. And, well, it's not that easy. It's semi-easy. Um, put this poisonous potato over there and we'll just put those in there next time we're around. And uh, how about we take these with us? Uh, back to the other base and um, mm, That still seems a little dark or am I having lighting issues? I don't know Let's uh, let's try refreshing the shadows. No, okay. All right. Maybe I need to put some torches up there um, Very happy to have Optifine back in the um, <clears throat> In the whole setting because it's just uh, It's just so nice to have the world loads faster uh, chunks don't flicker. Uh, it's just, it's all around good, 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 good. So, um, let's go back to the other base. I, and, um, I'll show you the, uh, the little addition that I put here up on the railroad. Now, it's not working really the best that it could. Uh, however, it's working, uh, as good as, um, I could do in two minutes. So you can see we have a new um, a new bridge or whatever here, and we've stopped here at this little intersection where we can use this lever to either go to uh, our mob farm over there, or we could flip it to keep going straight ahead. So we just press this button, and off we move. We do have to press forward on there. It does not just move us uh, automatically, which is unfortunate. Um, this bridge, or this railway was a pain in the butt guys it was it took ages it was like three or four hours of just straight building to the point where i stopped building pillars and stopped putting torches up on the um the bridge like it is there you see there's uh there's stairs on the sides too to kind of give it a little bit more um definition so uh all i did for the rest of this because i was really tired and i was i just did not want to work on this anymore um, I stopped building pillars except for in really short places like that, the long areas where I have to like go all the way down to C. Or, um, and I think all of this that we're on right now has no pillars. Um, just decided, you know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with that. The uh, the powered rails are powered by levers underneath them, uh, so it has a nice clean look. You can see that short pillar right there, which probably should be modified. It shouldn't look like that. It's a little wide for being so short. Um, yeah, see, there's no pillars here at all because it was just taking too long and I was getting bored and frustrated. And um, it took me, like, I think five or so minutes per... Well, these ones right here are the, the design I'm actually going to go with. Um, these took about, like, 10 or 12 minutes each because I, I didn't really have a, an easy design for them. So I just kept doing it, looking at the other one, and then I'd do it again. The minecart drops us off right here at the house. We just keep scooting forward to um, to line it up. Left shift, not right click. I keep forgetting about that. And um, that's the station in and out as of right now. So this will probably turn into the train station once we're done. Um, once I've I've moved all the items and stuff from out of here, I'm, I'll remodel this to make it look a little bit prettier. But you can see the um, actually let's go sleep. I don't want to deal with the the mobs. I had a heck of a time dealing with um, zombies and stuff uh, while building that because, as we all know, the zombies just, they're, they're terrible now. They're just just awful. Now, um, oh wow, look at that. The snow came and, and went very quickly. Um, 
So yeah, this is, uh, there's gonna be another pillar here. I've, I've realized I don't really like it just, you know, shooting down into the ground. Um, this will more than likely be the final design for the pillars. Uh, keeping it kind of, uh, I wanna say industrial, just um, uh, simple, you know? I, I don't wanna complicate it too much because I gotta do this, you know, two or three more dozen times and it's just gonna be a pain in the butt if I make the design super complicated. You can see I've only done these two and once I got here I was like, you know what, let's just build the pillars and we'll work on that and then eventually it even got to the point where I was like, you know, I'm not doing the pillars anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold off because I was wasting a lot of stone. Um, the time that it would take to go back, get more, co go back to where it was, and back and forth, it was just uh, mind-numbing. Uh, but eventually it will get done, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this current design. I spread them out a good distance. Basically, it's where each of the torches are. Um, not torches, uh, levers underneath the powered rail. So there's a powered rail here, there's one there. Um, except for the corners, uh, most of the time the powered rails land like right before the corner. Uh, and I, I just want the, the pillar to be on the actual corner. Um, so we have a railway now, which is great. It's, it took so much stone, so much stone and so much time that I just, I'm, I'm happy that I even got this far. Um, so yeah, uh, those guys, uh, those of you who will, uh, download the world for episode 40, you will have a train station that takes you back to the uh, the first base. Um, unfortunately, too, on the way back, uh, my little train um, switcher thing, it doesn't stop on the way back. It just kind of pushes you through it. Um, again, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. You can see I also did the a little bit of the pathway here. That goes down to the bottom, which is where we're going to be going right now to... Um, do a little bit more work on the, uh, well, I guess stronghold. I guess we'll just keep continuing it, calling it stronghold. I figured it'd be a good time to probably work on this upstairs bit a little bit more since we have to walk through this uh, every time we go to um, our place down there, which uh, I haven't done any work on down there yet, except for by the enchanting table. I just put in a couple more chests, but that's no big deal. So um, let me go, mm, we'll drop off these down below. Let me go sort out my items and then we'll come back up here. All right, so I picked up some stone bricks and uh, some wood and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. So we're gonna get started on <coughs> basically renovating this little area right here. Now I'm gonna connect these two rooms right there to that um, and I'll probably block off this room, maybe? I don't know, maybe maybe I'll just hollow out this whole area right here, all together, and then combine these two rooms to form one big room. Um, I don't really have any sort of plan for this area as of right now. Um, usually the plans come with um, uh, just seeing how the room is laid out and how things flow together and uh, all of that fun stuff um, like this room this spare room right here um, we could probably connect uh, it to some room straight through here maybe I don't know let's just dig this way for a little bit we'll leave torches in here so it doesn't get too dark and uh, we pop out here interesting um, Hmm. Which leads us back over here. So I get. <clears throat> so I guess we could have some sort of um, stairway or something right there, but uh, I don't know. Uh, this though, I, I am I am sure about. Let's uh, let's put down a. Oh, that's not the crafting table at all. Put the crafting table down, and then um, there we go. Okay. So uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of cuts during this because um, like uh, like all the other episodes, I don't, I don't want to show too much of me just straight working, mainly because these episodes are going to end up being an hour long and that just takes so long to render, guys. It, it takes so long. I mean, I have a pretty decent computer and um, 
you know, I, I, I try to, to, uh, to work it into a, a way of having the best uh, render speeds and everything like that, and it, I, it still takes those 45 minute long episodes take so much longer to render and they take up um it takes so much longer to upload too and process it's just across the board it's longer i don't like it it's um it's just it's just too much time so i try to keep these around 20 to 25 minutes long uh for your guys' sake i know a lot of you probably like longer episodes um and those tend to happen more often than not because i ramble like i am right now when i should have uh probably cut already but I haven't, because I am rambling. Uh, so, I'll see you guys here in a second after I clean this up a little bit more. And this place is already looking better, just by replacing all of the gross blocks and stuff with, um, with some smooth bricks. Um, I've extended the back here by one block. Well, actually, I guess uh, <clears throat> technically two or three blocks, uh, since we'll have a backing here. Uh, I don't know really what design I'm going to go with. I do kind of like the um, the stripe design that we've been or stripe design that we've been working with, but since we have a too high wall here, I'm thinking maybe oh darn it. Maybe I'll place that block in the wrong place. Uh, maybe we try something like this where we um, we get some steps and uh, if you guys have been paying close attention last few episodes, you know what I'm going to do. Uh, we take these steps and uh, we put them down, or I guess up in this case, like this. And we take the other staircases and do something like that. Um, to where it brings them out a little bit more, um, gives us a little bit more depth. Uh, maybe I'll do the whole room like this and see how it uh, it turns out. Do one of those. Get ourselves a couple of steps. Um, for corner pieces, though, uh, well, that's that's a bad example because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have that there. So we'll do uh, we'll do this one here and we'll see how it works out. So um, put our stairs. Oh, I didn't do these. Whoops. It's kind of hard to visualize. There we go. What it's going to all look like when you're taking out blocks like that. Okay, so we have our corner pieces here. Uh, it's kind of cool seeing through it, um, you know. But uh, what if we did something like this instead, where we took our two same block things and we put their actual blocks there instead or hmm I wonder if I can get them to like if I put one like that oh, I guess it would help if uh, this was on the right side like that hmm I guess we can't do that for both sides huh I guess we could if we moved it out one more block, because I can put it there. Um, hmm. So let's try this again real quick. And then um, maybe we'll try, uh, I don't know, because I'm, I'm mumbling to myself again. So should we have it closed off like that or open? Or even, can even go as far as to put it on the same plane as our blocks, just like that. And then, um, well, hmm. let's, uh, let's take out these right here. We'll see how we like this as a, a whole corner here. Uh, actually, let's put torches behind it because it'll shine through a little bit, yeah? Like that. Oh man, if I can actually light up the area like that, that'd be kind of cool, yeah? 
Let's um let's block that off. Get rid of this torch. It looks kind of creepy. Let's uh let's put some more behind here. Close that off. It's definitely not going to be bright enough to uh, to light up uh, the hallways to keep mobs from lighting out, but keep mobs from lighting out. I mean, uh, coming out and spawning. But that's uh, that's definitely interesting, isn't it? Um, block that off too. There we go. Man, that looks cool. Uh, if I was to ever do like a maze game or something like that, or you know, like make a maze and make it to where it's kind of poorly lit, I'd do something like that. Looks kind of neat. And um, I'm sure if I put the same wood here, uh, which I do not have, apparently I've ran out of those steps. Steps go by so quickly. I think if we had the same ones here, it would be brighter. Yeah, look at that. So you can see the difference between the two blocks right there. Um, definitely a cool effect and something that um, uh, you map designers and stuff uh, should probably keep in mind because this is kind of cool. It's so bright, but it provides no light. Like, it's, it's super dark here, but, I mean, it's probably even darker for you guys, because I know how, um, it's always, it's always darker for, for you guys when you watch. But that is cool for, like, ambient lighting or something, and if I had, um, my redstone lights, like, hooked up to a switch, just flip the switch over here, and it'll light up the hallway, but when I have them off, it's like this. But that would only work if I, um, if I made these half slabs. So mobs don't spawn inside of here. Oh, that is pretty neat. Maybe we'll do something like that for the dungeon. Oh, that is a good idea. Good job, Dwight. We're going to do something like that for our dungeon. Um, which will probably be down all the way down there somewhere. Um, but we need a new staircase or something to, uh, to, to get down there quicker. So that was a good experiment. Um, I'm not quite sure the design I'm going to go with. Um, I kind of like the stair idea, but well, that's kind of cool. If I just got rid of that pillar. Actually, let's get rid of all of these, and this will be a good example of some pretty tight um, corners and stuff. Okay, so, um, bring this up like that. There we go. That is a problem, though. Um, where am I going to put lights and stuff? That's actually kind of cool. It, it, it feels a little bit more open now, you know? And um, if we... Oh, there's a floor here. What's up here? Hello. We have like a dungeon thing. Oh yeah, this is where we, we mine through. Okay, I don't really care about this place. So let's, uh, let's try one more thing here. Um, Get rid of these blocks and those gross ones. Well, uh, that that would stay like that. And um, we'll bring in our stairs. We'll bring 
this up one more. No, 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 no. Let's do something a little bit more eccentric. Always running out of spruce wood, can never get enough. It's probably a zombie up there, he probably saw us. Um, how about that? Let's bring it out here a little bit more. And we'll see uh, see what it looks like from a distance. The thing is, though, is that having the same style through the entire stronghold. Oh no 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 no. Uh, it would be, I guess, the the more mm, like OCD thing to do. You know, like uh, you you keep the same design and everything because it's the same build. But, I don't know. It's just something about being able to work with different styles and stuff like that uh, in different areas that I think is really going to make this place uh, fun to be in. That's kind of cool. I like this. It brings up the ceiling a little bit. It, it brings more wood in, too, because we have, we'd, otherwise we'd have a stone brick floor, stone brick ceiling, um, and even... Uh, how could we fix this? So if we put a wood block there, it's gonna it's gonna look a little weird because we have a corner piece here. Hmm. I don't know. I never liked. Hmm. I don't. I don't know how to explain what I don't like about this. It's just, it just seems too big. Like the corner isn't neat enough, you know. Uh, but it makes sense for what it is, so I guess it, it'll be fine. And um. Whenever I pick up my redstone lamps, we could put like a lamp there, one here, um, and we'll see how much light it puts off on the ground. And uh, uh, yeah, let me let me just go grab those real quick. All right, so we have our uh, redstone lamps here. So we're gonna put. Oh no 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 no! We gotta be up higher. Will this work? Yeah. I guess I could use let oh, oh okay we lost that piece whatever take that out bam okay let's get rid of our torches here and um, we'll seal this off again to block the light oh, darn it I should <laughs> switch picks again because otherwise I'm getting cobblestone now I think that's uh that's good enough light. We probably would have to stick to every two though. So here, here, and here. Um, but that's fine. Darn it, that one. It was zombie. Come on. He's not gonna make the jump. I heard you. With your wet feet, you guys ever ever hear that? Next time you hear a zombie like walking around by itself, just think about its wet feet, and you'll understand what I mean. Okay, look at that! Look how bright that is. It's not bad. I like that. It's a it's a good design. We'll get rid of these pillars too, because I, I want to continue the stair design. So I'm gonna finish this up. There he is. Like like they sound like they have wet feet. Just listen. See, isn't that weird? That's weird, isn't it? So I got wet feet, like wet socks on inside their shoes or something. Um, okay, so if we got be this block here, because we're keeping the inside lane right here. Uh, we're keeping that stone bricks. However, there is a second floor up here that I need to go double check because otherwise I'm going to be digging into it and putting in redstone lamps and well, it's not going to work out for what's going on up top. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up guys and I'll see you Wednesday for another hardcore episode. If you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it and leave a lovely comment. I love interacting with you guys and sharing ideas 
you definitely fill me in on a lot of stuff that I, um, I definitely didn't know about before. So I will see you later.